Jeffrey Dahmer killed 17 young men and boys in Milwaukee and kept some of their body parts in his refrigerator. Because many of his later murders involved necrophilia and cannibalism, the psychiatrists had a field day developing different psychosexual models to explain this serial killer. Psychiatrists have a notoriously poor record of diagnosing alcoholism, especially in its early or middle stages. Many in the sociopathic or antisocial category are undiagnosed alcoholics. Following the 1991 discovery of the bodies in his apartment, the New York Times reported several clues strongly suggesting alcoholism. According to his brother, Jeffrey had started drinking from about the age of 14. A former classmate said he was already a drinker in high school, guzzling scotch in early morning classes. His constant drunkenness and frequent stupors made his high school friends feel insecure in his presence, so they avoided him. On one occasion, Dahmer's father paid a surprise visit to his son, only to find his room strewn with empty liquor bottles. Every bottle in the house had emptied to within an inch of the bottom. On another occasion, his stepmother came home early from work one afternoon to find Jeffrey passed out on his bed. He was blind drunk after having consumed a whole fifth of Jack Daniel's whiskey. Former college roommates say he simply could not get up in the morning. He would tape the lectures and then listen to them while he got drunk, getting through a couple of bottles of whiskey a day. He could not finance his alcohol dependency entirely out of the allowance sent by his father, so he would donate blood twice weekly at the university plasma centers. His fingernails had to be marked to prevent his giving blood more than once a week. While in the army, he would drink on duty as well as off. A former barracks roommate said Dahmer got around the Army's ban on alcohol by rigging a portable bar kit to look like a briefcase. He also said Dahmer would drink until he passed out. According to another soldier, when he was stationed in Germany Dahmer would get real violent while drinking. When it became obvious that his abuse of alcohol interfered with his ability and desire to obey orders, he was dismissed from the Army six months before his expected release date. Four police officers were required to hold him down and take him into custody at three in the morning at a bar on South 2nd Street. Dahmer was drunk and abusive. The bartender refused to serve him, whereupon he threw tokens across the bar at her and demanded he be served or he would shoot her. Dr. Park Dietz, the prosecution's expert, maintained that Dahmer's alcoholism was alone responsible for his killings, and there was no mental disease which contributed to it. Dahmer was sentenced to 16 terms of life imprisonment. He was murdered by another inmate at the Columbia prison. Watch your other videos to learn more. Get your copy of History's Missing Alcoholics available on Amazon now.